6 o'clock, so I'd like to open up the meeting. Um, and then I have one adjustment to the agenda. Um, the town office received a, a letter from the Department of Commerce, uh, from the Census Bureau, um, about collecting, having the town help them collect that on new construction in town, um, and which is something that Laura would be able to do for us. Um, so um, we just, um, I just want to add to the agenda to see if we think it's a good idea to do. Okay. Um, and I. Uh did you get my email about what I wanted to talk to about uh, the, the, uh, the school? Oh uh, no, the uh, school notice. Yeah, I can do that under the clerk's report. Yeah, I okay. got it written down. On it. Okay. So what Diana was just mentioning is to um, send out a notice to residents in town about the next school vote, which is June 25th, for the Articles of Agreement. Yeah. Um, just see if we can. Get a little better turnout <laughs> than it happened last time. Yeah, so. it was pretty low everywhere. So. Yeah. yeah. And that's pretty much And Do you have anything you'd like to add? No. Okay, so we're good there. Any public comment? <laughs> okay. Um, so I would make a motion that we approve the bills to the town. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And then I would make a motion that we approve the minutes for the May 29th meeting. Um, that's been written. I'll second those okay. as well. All in favor? Aye. Okay, so we'll sign them. Let's see. Approved. This. Six. Ten. Two. So that we don't. Okay. I usually pack them away and then find them two weeks later. Go. <laughs> okay. Um, town highway report. Um, do you want to just kind of give us a synopsis on what you guys have been up to? Uh, I'm not sure if we're up to book it yet. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, Friday, you took the grader down there for tires. And we picked that up today. Mm -hmm. Tires? So yeah. those are done. On the rest of the day today, and then with the loader, me and Timmy with the loader, you know, you, you go ahead of me and I get all the berms and stuff off the head. Uh -huh. and we got rid of uh, seven or eight loads of that stuff. What, what road was that? Where we East out? Hill. East Hill. Sand Hill. Sand Hill. Okay. Yep. Up there, and Greg was out with a grader on Dog Pond. Mm -hmm. I thought he was no. on vacation. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, I think it was his last day. Okay. <laughs> Um, you have somebody else in the grader? Yeah, I'm thinking of putting Peter in it and let him try it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's probably a good idea just to keep he's it going. Been with, <laughs> he's been with Greg a couple of yeah, days. Yeah, he's, he's ridden kind of shotgun a couple of times. Tomorrow it's supposed to rain, so I may go with him tomorrow. Yeah. A little bit while I'm in the house seeing probably. Yeah. Okay. You got to get somebody else. And Wednesday's supposed to be a good day. Our worst road, I drove around. I Did you give him that information about that? Mm -hmm. Our worst road over yeah. on Cranberry Meadow, of course, mm -hmm. we didn't get a chance to finish yeah, it. Right. So, okay. yeah. but, so we yeah. send them out there one day. Yeah. So Greg um, has been ditching a good part of Cranberry Meadow Road, especially though, you know, those spots where there's always a, like a little pool of water in the yeah. road where the ledge is really tight. Yeah. He's trying to get the, get the water off the road out there. And we've done a pretty good stretch of it from a lot of Yeah, time. we still have a lot of gravel and stone. Yeah. <laughs> Wait until the end of July, the first of July. Right. Yeah. The, we moved the excavator for that Thursday up on Scribner Hill. There's a couple of culverts up there plugged. Yeah. Got those unplugged, but now the excavator's there. We might as well ditch that right down through and yeah. do that while it's there and then go back. Mm -hmm. Probably Cranberry Meadow. <laughs> You doing all the ditching, or one of the boys? No, I didn't do just you ditching. We got a couple of colors. There's one 
right by the temple, that yeah. overhaul culvert. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah. I don't know that, that should be changed. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's a collar or what. And then uh, there's one right by the Willow Road. You know where that is by uh, Larry Corner. Yeah. Yeah. There's one there that goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's already it through here anyway. I don't think it's plugged. It was, was that the one where you were blowing it out and the uh, right. pieces of the rusted pipe came right. out the other end? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we've got to get back around, and there's three or four around Greenwood that need to be changed. Yeah. Cowboy Falls, and there's one greater, basically in the middle of the corner, there was a hole there. Is it the a sinkhole? That never got fit. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that collar or mm -hmm. colored or whatever. Yeah, I think Paul said there's a lot of water coming off the side of that mountain. Yeah, that whole ridge line all the way down. Um, a lot yeah. of water came off that post. Yeah. April when we had the rain and the melt and then that May twentieth. Wedge is constantly coming apart, so all that stuff went in from the road down through the area, you know, freezes in the winter and breaks yeah. apart. Mm -hmm. So that's almost a yearly thing that you're not down. It's narrow anyway. Yeah. Dynamite. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We had talked at one point with Sean and stuff about putting the French drain system like that down through there, but I don't even think that would work very good. Where it's tight to the Greenwood Lake? Yeah. We're just better off to ditch it. Yeah. There, and there's a spring in one spot there, isn't there? Yeah. 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 A couple of them, actually. Yeah. So there's always water. Yeah. Even when it's dry. And it's hard to get any ditch in at all, anyways, because it's wet. But as narrow as it is, people travel over in the ditch. What, yeah. what you can make of a ditch. Mm -hmm. huh. yeah, it's not any wider than it needs to be. Right. It's not a, yeah. not a problem. It's going to go away. But it's going to be easy. We're just going to get to it. Yeah, there's a ledge on one side and a lake on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that's going to be the agenda for the next couple of weeks while Greg's gone. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to take the last week? I'm undecided, but I think so. Yeah, trying to get him to do that. So he's got a week coming to him. So. Take a break. Yeah. Yeah. Anything uh, else you can think of? Think, or? Uh, maybe you can get in touch with the, the camp people there and we could do that Wednesday. This this week? or Okay. I mean, they're buying the gravel, right? right. So it's yep. not going to hurt yep. our budget. Okay. Yep. So this is Herrick's code. And it's supposed to be nice Wednesday, I think. So. Okay. Okay. You have to get that job done out of the way. And yeah, I'll maybe mean, try calling her this evening. Have to run out a couple loads and just, you know, figure out where they want them and then we'll do the road. Okay. And if they can't get, I think what they were going to try to do is have either some camp owners or whoever they're, they've hired to do the section of the road that the town can't do. Um, if they can't get them by Wednesday, would it be another, do you have another day or just wait and play it by year? Yeah, I okay. guess after that, I don't know. Okay. It might be Wednesday the, might would be a good day for us because okay. we're waiting for right. the <laughs> Okay, yeah, so tell them to make it work. Yeah, make it work. <laughs> You're gonna get dirt down there, you find somebody to move it. Right. I'm sure if they can they'll jump right out of it because they you know, right. it may not be to the weekend or something, yeah. so find a place that right where it wouldn't be okay. blocking the road obviously. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I'll try to call her tonight. I have and an email address, but I think I have a phone number too. So we're gonna have to back to it, so it can't be too Right. Yeah, again either. Right. Now I think they were thinking um, maybe the, it's the, there's another turnaround just after the one that the, that we're planning on using for the grader, and then and then their road significantly narrows. Right. Um, and I think they were hoping that the loads that they would use on the narrow part could get dumped right right where that road really changes. 
If it works, we're going to look at it okay. again tomorrow. Okay. I could have a meeting. Yeah. Meeting there. And just yeah. We could talk about it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll try to get a hold of it today. Tonight. Yeah. Okay. That would be a good project. I wonder right. they. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Think, uh, Lots of ditching. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and like I said, I'm going to try to put Peter on the grader. I'll obviously be with him a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That would be a good practice for us. Yeah. I mean, it's these days are half days of rain. It's a few good days to do that and just mm -hmm. teach him a little more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Any other questions that. No, nothing okay. I think of, yeah. Okay. So, um,. Let's look um, just for briefly here. Um, I have the, um, the municipal roads general permit grants and aid um, program information for another um, uh, grant work uh, for this summer, fiscal year 20. Um, the town has been allotted um, um, $12,700 with a 20% match of $3,175. Um, that's basically three segments of hydrologically connected road. Um, uh, Greg and I have been talking about Valley Lake Road, um, the lower section. I think it was two summers ago that we worked on the upper part through the grant aid program. On the opposite side of the road. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so this would be you know where that where that really sharp bend is, and then you drop right down to Kirk Lance Place. Yeah, it would be that section of road, which has taken pretty good hit this this spring. Um, so, what would you be doing to it? Well, that's what um, that's what we would find out from from Dan, from yeah. Dan Courier. But I would imagine. I, I don't know. know. You know where the grass hasn't grown? Yeah, right I'd like to stone that all the way just like he's still. Yeah, right around the corner. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. We'll see what they come up with. Yeah. So there's a turnout at the bottom of that stretch. So um, I would imagine that the water would, and there's a culvert too. Um, right. Me and Harry put that culvert. Yeah. yeah. Culvert. And that's open now too. Well. Yeah. Yeah. About three quarters of the way down. Yeah. So what happened this spring is that the first um, round of flooding, you know, that side of the hill where it's pretty much steep bank or all the way down the snow bank was out so the water that was running down the road couldn't get into the ditch yeah. so it ran down the road gullied it out pretty good um, and then um, the May 20th it, I think that's when most of the road gravel went on to Kirk Lance Lawn um, yeah. and then there's some more with May 20th um, so uh, so we, well, we've got his lawn all cleaned up and um, Greg has opened up that turnout, so there's, you know, so it should be running down the ditch. But it would basically a, a big part of that would be just redoing that ditch. Um, and I don't know what else Dan will suggest. Yeah, because yeah. you really can't have it run off the other side because the brook is right there. Yeah. And that's, of course, that's what they are trying to have not happen. Is <laughs> not a lot of places for it to go. Right. The bottom of that hill, either on Kirk's or in the brook. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah that's yeah. it. So. So I'm sure there would be a series of stone dams and stone line culvert which would catch the dams, kind of catch some of the road gravel. Um, of course, then then you got to get them out. Then you got to clean them out. Um, yeah. So that's kind of the pain of a lot of the stuff they're doing nowadays. Is that all requires yeah. maintenance? And that's all been mm -hmm. done. That's all stone. Yeah. Out of there. Oh yeah, you're <laughs> right. The stone ditches do require maintenance. Yeah. You know, like um, on. Um, Valley Lake Road coming into the village, which you guys did last summer. There are stone dams there, but if you look, the road gravel, you know, each stone dam has pretty much caught the gravel, but... Winter sand. Yeah, winter sand, so yeah. now you've got to get that's that out they, of there. That's what they're designed to do. Yeah. <laughs> they weren't good. But. So you're supposed to go back, dig them out, and then restone them again, and that type yeah. of thing? Well, there, I guess you could just shovel out the... the the they've been around around. They really don't have an answer. They've been right. around and around about town running a screen so you could screen that stuff back out and use the stone again and they really haven't come up with an answer. Yeah. And all these I guess some of the towns are like running them back through their sand screen. Yeah. Which you now ours is three inch, so yeah. That's what most of that stone.
all went up together. So all went back to the shop. Yeah, right. You're handling it. Exactly. Yeah, you're handling it a lot. A lot of maintenance. Cheaper to go by, no. Yeah, yeah, cheaper to put those new stone down. Yeah. It's kind of a. Yeah. I mean, it's state mandated, but it's kind of a pain in the neck. Yeah. It makes it harder to use. They do work. They do what they're supposed to. Yeah. 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 So. So this is kind of what we have in the. In the works for that. I think that the, that stretch of road will pretty much use up this grant, but yeah. it'll allow us to repair a section of road that needs some work and get get some money back for it. Um, so they pay eighty percent uh, or twenty percent. Yeah, eighty. It's an eighty twenty percent match. So um, and up up to you know we they wouldn't give us any more unless we can make a good argument for it um, than what they. Pretty much um, the base offer that they have, um, so we'll be careful. You know, sometimes we do go over, but we get the road fixed. Um, so twelve seven. Twelve is seven. seven. Yeah. yeah. So, um, the first year we did it, we you know you. The catch is that they they'll only. Um, the grant is for hydrologically connected segments of road. So like when we did the upper part of Valley Lake, um, there are two segments. They were hydrologically connected, but then there were was the rest of the road above it. So the water's going to run down to those yeah. two segments. So you know we did the whole road and and then got reimbursed for the, the two segments that were connected. But you, know, you really have to do the whole road in order for it to <laughs> yeah be effective. Yeah. yeah. So so that's kind of what we watch out for with trying to make sure that it's going to cover most of the project. So does this seem like a good thing to do again sure. this year? Okay. Yeah. Um, so um, we could let's see. So the other other part of this grant, which have which we don't qualify for, um, is they also have a program for um, equipment purchases. See that? Yeah. Yeah. And on the last sheet on page seven, it says that we aren't eligible for equipment. So um, I don't know whether they do that on a cycle of different years or. What the story is there, but so subject to available state remote funding. Yeah. So, um, but we, you know, we're, the equipment that they list, we don't really need anyway. We already have a hydro seeder, so um, yeah, we should be good. That was a nice purchase. Yeah, that yeah. worked out well. Yeah, that worked good. Yeah. As long as it's not raining. I haven't even used it's ready to go, but we haven't used it yet. <laughs> So let's see, one through three. So we would we would sign um, page three is a letter of intent, which is letting the regional planning commission and DEC know that we're that we want to do this. Um, and then yeah, that's pretty much it. Just that letter of intent. So. Um, I don't know if I really need to make a motion or not. Um, I guess I should just be on the safe side. So um, I'd like to make a motion that we participate in the Municipal Roads General Permit uh, Grants and Aid Program for fiscal year 20 uh, to work on three hydrologically connected segments of Valley Lake Road. I'll second that. Okay, all in favor? Uh, Aye. Okay, so very... Um, let's see, we would be, we would try to finish this by fall, right, October 31st? Yeah. Valley Lake Road, yep. Uh, so this is six. Long project, you figure that is a week, or? Uh, I would guess. All know, of that. Probably. Like I said, depending on what they come up with, you've got yeah. to hand place that stone in there, obviously, that's yep. a so, little longer. So we'll, um, this was due by July 3rd, but we'll send it in um, and we'll um, make a date with Dan Courier and, and Shauna if she can come um, to, uh, to let us know what we need to do. Another sort of tentative date we have with Shauna um, and maybe Jaron Borg, um, the hydrological fellow from ANR who does a lot of state highway stuff, is to come and take a look at um, some of the old metal culverts like the one on Bailey Bridge Road and maybe the ones in the village 
Um, they're starting to show quite a bit of sign of rusting. Um, so Jaron did look at the one on Bailey Bridge Road last fall and said it was okay for now. That's good, yeah. Um, but, you know. I remember when Harry was here, they had looked at it with him mm -hmm. and they were talking about putting a bridge in there. Yeah. Not a culvert, but yeah. a bridge. I'm sure it would be a box culvert, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to. Yeah, I think any, any of those bigger ones that that would Same be. with up the garnishes, too. They should look at that one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they, they like those box culverts. Yeah, that does seem to be the new. So we we had had an original date to look at some of those, but um, it was very high water. Things were things were melting, so we decided we would wait. But, um, so yeah, so we'll have Dan come. He'll tell us what you know needs to be done on that road, the Valley Lake Road, and then yeah. at some point this summer, early fall. Hopefully, Shauna gets back to us on the Cabot Road. So we yeah, can get that um, done. yeah, yeah. That, yeah, let me read, um, let's see where that that would do something that will have to be placed yes. at the end. Yeah, we're pretty lucky right now that it hasn't cracked and it's held really well. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was wondering about. Okay. Oh. <laughs> was the cabinet yeah. row? Cabinet yeah. row. Oh. So, um, I had sent an email to Shauna just wondering if she had heard back from the people that came and looked at the washout. And, uh, she... We had a phone conversation um, uh, before they before they had come, um, and she mentioned that um, VTrans has a town highway emergency grant, um, and it kicks in if there's you know there's a threshold. I think it's like twenty thousand dollars or more of damage. Yeah. Um, so that's why I'm kind of curious to know what the people who came and looked what they estimate the repair for that to be. Yeah. Um, uh, so if it's more than twenty thousand dollars, then the town is eligible for this town highway emergency grant, and it's a uh, uh, the VTrans would pay ninety percent of the repair, and the town would have to come up with a ten percent match. Um, I so know there was a minimum, too, right? It had to be over twenty or over. Yeah, it has to has to be over twenty thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah. So in her email, she mentioned that uh, in order to start the grant process. I need a letter from the town on town letterhead stating why it is necessary for the town to receive such grant, and then in parentheses basically that the damages will we create a, a financial hazard to the town. So we'll get some testimony from our town treasurer about that. Access, it's just once it goes, right? Then you're looking at the other road. Yeah, and then she yeah. then and then she yeah. mentioned it would also be helpful if, if there were a brief description of damages, um, specifically Cabot Road, but any other features of other roads in town that may drive or re repair urgency. Um, and we, you know, we've basically already dealt with those, but there were, you know, stuff on County Road that we could also um, um, mention, which would help raise that threshold level if, um, we needed to. If we yeah. needed to, yeah. Um, or it might help, you know, we meet the threshold level with the Cabot Road, but there were these other repair costs and may help us cover some, you know, the repair that we spent. Um, yeah. So um, I'll, I'll write a letter um, from the on town letterhead. Just um, maybe I'll send it to you and Paul and Greg before I actually send it to Shauna. So just yeah. make sure that everybody's in agreement about what I say. Um, I'll mention maybe the county road, those two culverts. Um, we do have some photos of those, um, mm -hmm. so we could use that as a backup. Um, and everything's written down too, so right. we can come up with figures yeah. too. Yeah. So, and I'll, I'll get that, try to do that. Th I have a, a good amount of free time this week, so I'll try to do that this week. Um, and then, um, so maybe by Thursday, I'll send it to you and okay. Paul and Greg, and, um, and I'll let Shana know that we're putting something together. So. Okay, um, I think that's, that's all that I can think of for town highway stuff. Um, yeah, if we do the Cabot Road, then we oh. should do Dan Jarnus's culvert as well at the same time. Well, there was no damage there. No, so um, we couldn't include that in it. I don't think we could. This is more to. Um, I, I'll ask Shauna that question, but that's um, 
got this, pretty high several yeah, times. <laughs> yeah, well that, that day, May 20th, it yeah. got right up to the top. Yeah, that yeah. one. If that went yeah. out, then we really have some problems. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you, um, if you, I think you were working at that point in time, there was a plan that was made, you know, there's the big metal culvert. And then there was a plan, I think it was after Irene, um, to have a like a higher overflow culvert right, right beside, beside that. Actually, I think in the plan there were two. I was thinking that there was two on yeah. either side, yeah, either side yeah. halfway or something. We that actually went to Dan and mm -hmm. Jason Board and all that stuff, and they figured one on this side toward the blacktop. Okay. Just so one over the other. Right, yeah. because the other, the other ones, if you look at it, there's no place for it to go. Oh, out on the downhill right. side. Yeah. 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 Um, I'll ask Sean of that. They, yeah. they did look at it. Yeah. That's okay. Definitely but it wasn't problem. an Irene thing. It was. Was it that know, after I started? We're maybe it was the last. Well, the last time that the village flooded through the store. That wasn't Irene. That was after. Yeah, it was after. Yeah. Yeah, and it was a, kind of the same situation where right. we had a lot of rain and then we got. A big dump really quickly. Yeah. Um, but it was discussed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we can't find any. I know. I remember seeing a a rough drawing kind of design, but I haven't been able to find that anywhere. Um, huh. Yeah. Down in the garage. Amazing. Yeah. Harry's stuff's all gone now. And yeah. I never saw any yeah. Of so, but um, so maybe it would be just having Jaron come and look at it again. At that time, it was. Uh, who was the guy before Jerry? Yeah, he did the Nelson Pond Road. Right. Pat, was it Patrick? Patrick somebody wrote Richard Steele? Patrick? No. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I have that name somewhere, but. Yeah. Anyways, he's the one that looked at that. Name. Right. Yeah. But is he still yeah, there? About the same he, time. Re he retired, retired and Jaron took his place. Yeah. yeah. About the same time we put that bridge in, in mm -hmm. the Gulf. Yeah. Yeah. So good. So I'll, I'll we'll get on that and um, get that letter written and out. And then the other um, thing, this is kind of not really related to the road, but the, I know um, Chris had a question about the rock that washed down behind his place. Yeah. Um, so I um, I called Jaron Board. I left a message. Um, he called back. I wasn't home, but um, my wife took the message, and he said. Um, that if there's less than 10 cubic yards of area, I assume that's area, an amount of rock that's in the brook, um, then we could go ahead and, and move that rock on our own. Okay. I took a look at it, and it looks like the rock that washed down is, is part of the rock that goes around the box culvert. It's all, you know, like about... Yeah. Foot, it was 16 on inches. The other side of yeah, it was on the other side, um, and I think it just washed down. Um, yeah, it did fill it up a lot, though. It's yeah, yeah, a lot of stuff out there. Yeah, and you know we could um, just move it to the side, have it like a. We don't want to channel it too much, but if we, you know, we could kind of just reinforce move, the bank, reinforce the bank, and, and kind of take away the stuff that's in the stream that's kind it's of flowing down underneath it anyway. Yeah, yeah. Anything that's there is. Yeah. And I don't know whether we could do that by hand or you know, um, some of those rocks. They didn't look like they were horribly big, but I, I didn't get right in there's there. There's a few of them. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, Lonzi knows he can move them out of the way. Right. Yeah. So he, he says he may have a party someday. And okay. He's welcome to do that. Boys. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, if he does, have him, have him call me. I'm not, I'm not a <laughs> he man, but I could pick up a smaller one. <laughs> So just yeah, so on the side, then. yeah, yeah. So I, I, I was gonna just let him know that if he wants to try to do something there, he's welcome to. It. And you know, ten cubic yards. I don't really have a sense of what that is, but I think just moving Clean the rock would be fine. Just, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's yeah. It's not like we're changing the channel or scooping it right out or whatever. But, yeah. So. Okay. So I think we're done with the town highway report. You'd like to go home. <laughs> yeah. I, can't else yeah, I, can. yeah. I did finally buy an iPad. Oh, you did? Yeah. Right, yep. Yeah. 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 Getting that going. That's yeah. going to be a huge advantage. How big a one did you get?
The big one. Yeah. Uh, basically, because it's got the keyboard and it yeah. covers it. Yeah. yeah, we've been researching that for talking about it for That's what all the other years. Yeah. 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 Takes yeah. pictures and all works. Yeah. yeah so everything, yeah. any work now from here on in, any damage, we'll photo document it. Yeah. Um, once, once we get going, I mean, you can just talk to it and it prints the text right on. Huh. Okay. Wow. And Jane, be a big one. <laughs> Jane Courier had um, some recommended apps to get for it that. Um, for any of the road work, you know, ones that could read the slope and stuff like that. So it yeah, could also, wow. I, th I think there might be one for just looking at the crown and the yeah, green and stuff. There's, there's a lot of different. Everything, they estimate how many yards of gravel you're going to need and all that stuff. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, well, a lot of the town highway road crews are, have them now. It's all got to go. Yeah. It's like a be on, on the road tool, you know, I can. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I guess and it's you know it's a record for this municipal road general permit. I yeah. Mean, yeah you back it up regularly somewhere or somehow so it doesn't. That's what we should start yeah. doing. Yeah. Because the photos. We would have iPhone just directly just set up an oh, account. With it with uh, with the. And the pad. Right, yeah. Do the, 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 the laptop in that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it would be good to back it up. Mm -hmm. Pretty regularly. Yeah. Yeah, we've got it. We don't want to lose all the rain info. <laughs> right. right. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have so much information, we'll be able to make sure we can find it when we need it, too. Yeah. yeah. So, that's a new tool that's going to be very helpful for mm -hmm. all this state stuff. Yeah. yeah. That's going to be mandated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we'll be able to go back and say we already did this road, you know, two years ago, even or whatever. And that, that's the other thing that we could do. You know, we have this to grants and A, but you know, the road crew is working on a lot of the roads. You know, ones that aren't necessarily hydrologically connected or just doing road work every year, and all of that qualifies to get us. You know, for the now that we have the road inventory, there's yeah. a lot listed for work that needs to be done so um, when we do the work that's on that list um, you know being able to photo document it um, you can go towards that yeah we can report to a and r that um, you know that we did this work and yeah. i think at some point they haven't got it set up yet but there'll be um, like a whole uh, kind of a website where each town can um, log on to it and then um, you know report work that they've done uh, anything that's on the inventory when work gets done you yeah. can report that it's been done and they get and then it gets checked off the, oh. the list so it'll be more um, office work for somebody to do I think they're, they're supposed to have they should have had it up and running already but I think it Sometime this summer, I think Dan has been saying it should be ready to be used. But, so. Got the, uh, I forgot to mention too, we get those signs for this. Okay. They're up. I don't know if you know this. Ah, well, they're already up. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, Children. Folks like in Maple oh. Lane, um, George and Aaron Sawyer, uh, Sawyer asked for it. All right. Okay. Yeah, I guess they're anticipating their child getting ready to run around. Getting ready to play in the road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, now you got a bunch of, there's quite a few kids in the village now. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of kids that ride wheelies up and down the road all day yeah. long on their bicycles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have no idea who that is. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's not Cody. <laughs> he does it in Woodbury. There's two or three kids down here doing it right. up and down the yeah. road. Oh. Yeah. They should get together. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The other village. Yeah, the village, yeah. Anyway, we set those up today, too. So Good. Thank you for that. That's, that's done. Yeah. I was going to say I'd let them know, but they've probably already seen them, so. I'm sure. Yeah. So, yeah. Good. Okay. So you're you're welcome to take that with you. Yep. You know, yeah. Can, take it. Keep it at the garage. I'll get a hold of Dan and yep. see if we can come out here. Actually, I'll get on there. But. Okay. We're going to do Valley Lake. Mm -hmm. We'll just stick it up here. Okay. Yep. I looked at the ANR map this afternoon and 
there are three segments there, so. Um, yep. Yep. Let's see. Good. Yep. Alrighty. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming. <laughs> yep. So maybe next, um, let's let's go over this the census thing. Um, yeah. Here's the information on it. Um, Night, ladies. So, I think Laura's thought is that she would be willing to do the work. It would kind of go towards her town clerk assistant time. Um, oh, good. Yeah. And kind of check in with the listers. Um, she's going to try to find out whether they just want it for the last year or for since the last census was taken. Um, and my thought on. I think the reason they're asking for this information is just to know where, and maybe the 911 um, system would also work with that. Skip might have some information about that. The new construction. Yeah. So this is all about new housing in town. Then. Yeah, which they might not have listed on their, you know, census data for places to doors to go knock on. I think that's the reason why they're asking for it, is that they would have, you know, more up to date information on. Other addresses um, in okay. town. I guess we participate, so there's there's funding available if you have if your town's growing. So yeah, yeah, great. Yeah. So does it look like that they'll pay for the work that Laura does? If we could get a little money back, or is it just? I don't think it'll be hours and hours of time, but I don't see that it says about getting any money from them. Does that anywhere? So. Right. It's just to help them. Just to help them. They plan to do another one in 2020. I think it's every 10 years. So they're trying to get it. Yeah, the, it's, the, it's the new census that's coming up next yeah. year. Yeah. Less light work for them. Yeah. yeah. And it seems like a. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're local, okay. so we know what's going on in town. So yeah. I guess that makes yeah. sense. Okay. So I will leave this. Information with you, Laura. To um, you do have to fill out. There's a part uh, of it you have to fill out, and okay. it has four days before it has to be sent in. So. Uh, well, I guess we better do yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. So, so is this the registration form? Is that what we need to fill out? Yeah. There's a part that says yes, we want to participate, and then it has the official. That would be the contact, yeah. and then you have to designate a liaison. So if they need to talk to someone, you can sign the for Signature that. of official. So I could sign. That is the chair. Yeah, you're the official. Yeah. Uh, so I could do this outside of the meeting. Yeah. And then I'll fax it to As long as I have it back before Thursday. Okay, well, I'll do it before I leave tonight. Okay. Okay. So, set that aside. So, it looks like we're ready for the town treasurer report. So, we'll see if Randy will join us. Randy, we're all set for town treasurer. one page and on the reverse side I ended up doing the do to do from. Okay. So seeing the balance is left like the highway is at sixty one thousand and then the rest of the other funds. Mm -hmm. Talking about other funds, so I set up the Woodbury School Building Fund. Mm -hmm. So it's number fifteen. So one of the checks from OSSU in Woodbury School District. Um, was cut and I deposited it for the mm -hmm. $45,063.42. Mm -hmm. So we will be having one more check for the remainder. Cut out of that and I'll be closing closing that checking mm -hmm. account. Okay. 
um, other income in the last two weeks. Uh, we received a green up grant mm -hmm. reimbursement mm -hmm. in the same fiscal year. Uh, <laughs> never happened. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, land records recording, land record copies, um, map recording, prepaid taxes, and zoning permit. Mm -hmm. Uh, delinquencies, Ron gave me in the last two weeks $6,241.35. And then today I transferred $16,000 to cover expenses for AP. Mm -hmm. okay. Good. So, how are you feeling? I know you, there was an email expressing concern about um, just our. The money in the piggy banks um, for July 1st. How, how are you so feeling about I that now? So I discussed and I bounced that email to all of you. Yep. My biggest thing was the MOU signed for the fire department. Mm -hmm. All those payments are due on the 1st. Right. And there's no way. Mm -hmm. uh, I stayed in my expenses and Paul said, um, we'll figure something out. Okay. And that's kind because, of what it is now. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, until my tax money starts rolling in, I mean, there's three huge whacks with the fire department right, right off the bat. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, there's a 30000 there's the 18000 for the quarter, and then there's a seventeen for the truck. And I have I have my highway equipment. Uh, those are two big and, things. Yep. But the fire department all comes out of the general fund, mm -hmm. and the general fund does is, will not have that. Yeah. That much in it yeah. um, at that time. Yeah. I think you know we really need to work into the future with um, like we did with the low pro uh, like on right. October first. Yep. I don't know how if the fire department can kind of reconfigure things, um, but for, nice in general, them. yeah, in general for any if of those the things. MLU can be rewritten because yeah, there's yeah. no way that. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense because we don't sure start getting our tax money in until right. later. And July, I mean, I think everybody's kind of set on, well, this is the beginning the, of the new fiscal right. year, so July 1, there's the bill. Down. Yeah, um, But it just doesn't work as far as our you know, town cash flow. Yeah. I mean, we can borrow money, but if we don't have to, that would be nice. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because then we're paying the bank for exactly. you know, some, too. So. Yeah, so we should... Probably go over that the next meeting with Paul and maybe Chance or whatever. Yeah, I think they're trying to figure it out. I'm, I'm not right. sure yeah, what they. Yeah, Chance is looking at the payments he yeah. has um, when his due dates are. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah so. The MOU does state and it's signed that all the mm -hmm. money will mm -hmm. be for July one. Yeah. 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 Well, if they, I mean, if they can't, if we have to take out a loan, we'll have to take out a loan. But we'll see what they can, what they can do. But yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't even think of that when we, when we signed that. But, mm -hmm. yeah. Any questions for me? Um, let me see what I want to think of. Um, <coughs> no? Anything else? So, this is my double checking everything, Mike. Mm -hmm. So, making sure I have all my. 12 electric bills on my 12 mm -hmm. going through, so I'll be going through and making sure the, the correct accounts were hit. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Are you going to be able to get um, some backup? Because you were mentioning having, um, I'm blanking out on your assistant's name. Oh, Tom? Tom, yeah. Yep, I gonna... talked with him. He's going to be coming in once a month now. He's going to be doing the the 941 quarterlies mm -hmm. um, and he's going to be doing the Department of Labor and um, I'm drawing a blank the state so yeah there's the four big ones which double check mm -hmm. my monthly right payments mm -hmm. and the beamers okay. will be doing the beamers also okay That's so actually come beamers. in house and do it right here yeah which would be nice which you know, for the LCT and making sure the controls. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And with NEMRIC, it's very simple. Mm -hmm. but so does Tom have to learn a bit about, about NEMRIC to do that? or? There's a couple of things. A couple yeah. of things to look at. Yeah. Yeah. But 
I want somebody else needs to know right. besides me. I'm sure he'll he'll be a quick study. And for me, that. it's just another double checking one for me. Yeah, yeah. And he's he still has um, he's only halfway with his expense mm -hmm. item line mm -hmm. for him. Yeah. As we speak. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. And then I noticed in the bills. This, so I just thought of that um, Bill Hall, there was a final bill for the audit assistance. Um, so are you pretty well set for knowing what you need to do to, um, in order to be prepared? Well, no, for... that wasn't from him. Oh, okay. That was for the payroll audit. Oh, okay. And, and that was the increase, um, the more um, road crew hours. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so that was just the kickover from... Mm -hmm. Audit. Okay. And so right. that just comes out of the, the town, the highway expense mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, for that. Okay. But his, it didn't show anything for him. Right. I haven't received anything for okay. him. Okay. All right. He kind of talks fast. And yeah, he does. <laughs> kind of overwhelming. So did, was it your understanding that he was going to come back and. No, he hasn't even sent me the emails he said he was going to send. Okay. So. Yeah. Do you want me to bug him or do you. Sometimes that helps. <laughs> I mean, it's it's. Because um, you would like to have my thing practices is we're set by. Have to set up. We are going to have to set up um, more accounts. Right. And there's going to be an account for each location that the town owns. Mm -hmm. and, um, and showing the. Of course, there's no depreciation for land. Right. But. Um, There'll be an Excel spreadsheet I'll have to to create on top of um, more paperwork of it just consistently showing right. up. Mm -hmm. um, so it'd be like the town office, the school, the town right. hall, right. Yeah. Anything, town forest, I guess, that's property, yeah. town wetland. The park, then. Yeah, the park. Some more, more work. Right. <laughs> <laughs> And then it'll show up on our financial statements. Yeah. So, and was that pretty much all that he felt that um, the town needed to do in order to be prepared for a professional audit? Or yes, because okay. Beamers takes care of the mm -hmm. retirement their percentage. So, if mm -hmm. I need ever needed to, and what what other towns do is they just get a hold of Beamers and get a printout mm -hmm. for each employee, and then uh -huh. they they give that to the auditors. Mm -hmm. Okay. Instead of me keeping track of, of their rates, right. I pay them what I owe them, and then I don't keep track of what they owe mm -hmm. the employee. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So getting getting um, itemizing, yeah, mm -hmm. the pieces. Yeah. It seems right. like once that was set up, it would right. be okay. Yeah. Right. It'll be yeah. good to go. Yeah. It's just creating. Do you have to do that for all the town highway equipment too, with depreciation and all that? It's right our that's, curveball. That's, <laughs> Hopefully not. That would be another Excel spreadsheet, mm -hmm. and that's kind of on the lines what Laura is doing as far as the maintenance schedule. Mm -hmm. um, Everything that's done. That's just but yeah, there'll be a percentage each mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. um, so it would be another Excel spreadsheet. Right. Okay. So and I did sign up for another all day class <laughs> okay. coming this month, I believe. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it'll be another Excel spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. For percentages. And then, of course, we don't pay tax, but, but as far as providing it um, right. to the final audit. Mm -hmm. Done. And then it's just closing Good. up the fiscal year and resetting up the binder for the new one. Yeah. yeah. A couple more weeks. Three yeah. weeks, I guess. Three weeks. So, the New Valley Lake, was that in the budget? That's for um, uh, fiscal year 20, and I think I would have to look and see if it was in the budget, but I think it was, yes. Okay. Yeah, I think we did budget for it. It was pretty much the same amount as this year, so. And the report is all done for this fiscal year. Um, Laura's going to um, 
scan it for me so I can send it in. Um, I had it pretty much done before all the school stuff hit the mm -hmm. fan, and then right. it just sat on my desk. So. Um, and hopefully I'll have the, the um, what is it, 6100 or in that ballpark of the, the grant, the reimbursement um, that Skip was working with. Right, for the, the last uh, for the hazard payment. mitigation. Hopefully that one will come in, right. in this fiscal year. Yeah. If not, I'll do it as a receivable. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I think that this grants an aid for this fiscal year. Um, I would be surprised if it came in by the end of this fiscal year. Um, but, um, so that'll be receivable too. And, right. I guess, but, the next fiscal year. But I'll ask, um, when I send in the report, um, I'll ask um, when they think we might be able to get, because it's money that they have put aside that's kind of sitting there ready to be paid out. So hopefully we won't have to wait as long as we did the first year. Um, so. So, yeah, that would help. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, that would be twelve thousand dollars that would come in. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's just something in the back of my mind. Mm -hmm. I had to make the journal entries. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm still waiting on money. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Is she on her way? <laughs> there she is. There she is. Hello. Hello. I'll uh, record on the public records request okay. that we got last Wednesday night. Um, <coughs> on Thursday, I asked um, to email to the Secretary of State's office whether it's possible um, or usual to charge for time. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't get back from them until Monday, and they said that you could charge for time. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, on Friday I came in because of the time crunch. I came in and spent two hours on Friday. And then on Monday, I worked with Brandy a lot, digging out things mm -hmm. here and there, making sure we had everything, you know, mm -hmm. the same numbers on each, mm -hmm. on each side. So that was somewhat useful, so I only added another, like, hour and a half for that day. And, uh, this is what I sent him. I called him Monday night to see if he wanted to come in and pick it up. I didn't hear from him. So I called him Tuesday to see if he wanted to come in and pick it up. And um, I told him that the total that was being charged, because Monday, yeah, like I said, Monday I heard that I could charge for time. It was $93.27, but he handed me $20 and said that that was all he had to pay because I hadn't called him. You know, I mean, I was al almost done with the work by the time I found out that I could charge a time, so. Now, how do you charge a time? Is it personal or to, to the town? Oh, or? no, I just put, put in my regular hourly rate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so you got paid from Mike to do it and the town, or how does... I didn't get anything. I just get my regular hourly rate. So you get your regular rate. So you yeah. did it on town time. Right, yes. right. Yeah, well, definitely, yeah. yeah. But he said if it's not, if it's, I hear by agree to pay reasonable and customary costs for these copies upon delivery, provided that the total does not include exceed twenty dollars. If the charge would exceed that amount, please so inform me before incurring the expense. Well, you know, I had already incurred the expense because there's a time limit on responding to these things, and mm -hmm. and uh, he didn't feel that he had to pay the ninety three dollars. So. Well, that's not unusual, is it? <laughs> Especially since the town's been so generous with him. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. So that was done. He came and picked it up, and um, you can see on the second page, I gave him the, the contact contact information from the Regional Planning Commission and the uh, Agency of Natural Resources. Mm -hmm. Hopefully they they know enough to charge for time without having 
Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Ask the Secretary of State. If it's public information, if well, I guess it's public information here too. So. Well, the law says that if yeah, if you, you can charge if it takes more than thirty minutes. Okay. Yeah. Huh. okay. Yeah. So I did have to dig through each by each and every mm -hmm. file and make sure we had all the uh, you know advertising bills and everything in order. Mm -hmm. So well, thank you for doing that work. That. Well, it's nice to have this anyway, so yeah. I know where we're at. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I have, still haven't gotten back to Brandy to match up our numbers, but mm -hmm. I had this total here on this first page was 16,374. I didn't add in the 1,200, the 2,100 from the Woodbury Fund, the Phase One Environmental Site Assessment, because that's not out of our thirty thousand mm -hmm. dollars. And I don't know if the Brella application that might, you know, I had Brandy take that out of that fund at the time, but I. Don't think we was going to allow that because that's really a state. Right, that is thing. a separate thing. Yeah. And there's also the the attorney has not billed us yet for the title search, so mm -hmm. I'm sure we owe some more money there. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So there's that. Mm -hmm. Other, oh, we haven't gotten to the story yet, so I'll just yeah. say that the legislature passed. Uh, a law increasing the recording fees. A certain number of town clerks have been lobbying for for years, and mm -hmm. you know, I didn't really say anything. I didn't really think it was necessary. I mean, mm -hmm. the, the attorneys and the banks—they don't care. Right. You know, it all goes back to the client, yeah. anyways. Mm -hmm. the people who are refinancing all the time are going to get mm -hmm. hit more than others, but. Uh, we also have to go back to uh, $4 a page, putting $4 a page into our restoration fund. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there is an out clause on that. I think every year I'm going to have to send a report, including the summary of the monies allocated from each town's restoration and preservation reserve fund. And there. Uh, a municipality may allocate less than the four dollar per page if the clerk of the municipality annually certifies the municipality has sufficient dedicated reserve funds to provide for the uses described in the statute. Mm -hmm. One of which is digitization, but I hope digitization is not going to happen until I'm all gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, people can come in and look at the paper. What's the big deal? They just yeah. want to sit in their offices and look at everything online. That's so that fun. Would, that would be a major project, wouldn't it? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, a lot of times they're yeah. happy with it. But. How do they do it? Do they hire someone to come in and do it for them? or? I think they do. There are a couple yeah. of companies that will come in. Once you sign up with them, mm -hmm. the companies will they'll come in and scan all your old records, wow. all your old books. Mm. Although, I don't know, now that everything is everything is on microfilm, I don't know whether they could take the microfilm. That would be a lot easier than take, going page to page by it to every book. But anyways, right. then, and then they set up a system whereby when something new comes in, you just feed it in and it gets, you know. Mm -hmm. But then you right. also have to have a public computer for people to come in and uh -huh. do their research, and we don't really have room for that. No. So anyways, someday. Have it in the basement. Right. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that'll happen the first of July. We've also got a bunch of new laws. I guess I told you about this last time. New things having to do with public records or vital records, rather birth certificates and death certificates. Laura and I sat through a, a right. webinar. Okay. That was, we'll figure it out when the time comes. Mm -hmm. So. This, um, not really, okay, not to the store up here yet. So, yeah. I so wanted to ask, yeah. I've had some emails back and forth between the school board members and the superintendent's office asking why they're not letting people know what they're supposed to be voting on. Right. Because to me, it's, I know a lot of, some people mentioned they didn't know anything about that mm -hmm. budget vote that was going mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. Some people showed up. Paul was one of them who showed up and said that he didn't know what it was all about. Mm -hmm. You know, he, they never notified people about this $7 million budget. 
which I thought was kind of, I don't know, it just makes me think our fears about all totally losing control are real. Right. <laughs> So one of the brief, one of the responses I got to my proposal about why are they doing this? Well, it's going to cost too much. That shouldn't be part of the equation no. at all. So I said, yeah. well, if it's going to cost too much for the school board or for to, to do, um, what if we hit it at the town level? I mean, this is this whole this is a crazy thing. Yeah. Here's one ballot. Yeah, okay, this is what people are going to be confronted with. Yeah, here's the other ballot. Four okay. pages. Yep. And crazy. people aren't going to, you know, I mean, there are some people who care enough to read this earlier and right. try to figure it out. If they just show up to people, vote, people are not gonna know. Know. they're not going to be able to do anything. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there are like 20 of us who went to a bunch of meetings. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, there were, and then the, the board offered, said they're going to send home a copy of the warning with all the school children. That's like 10% of our population. Mm -hmm. are, Household. Plus, it's a very select sample. Right. Um, so, anyways, I, uh, if we what, what if we were to do like an informational meeting? It's too late for that. It, it, they could have done that already. No, but, the um, town itself. The town itself. So well, an informal one. Uh, I mean, it's been yeah, a, but then who would talk? Of, who would? The school board. Um, Stephen Murphy, members. who worked on these articles, would be a very good person to. Yeah. But how many people would come to the meeting? Well, exactly. that's it. Exactly. But, but at and, least and it, you can't advertise the meeting except on Front Porch Forum, and not everybody has email yeah. or checks their email every day. Right. Yeah. Well, we could yeah, put it. Putting it in the Hardwick Gazette, you know, there was like a half page of all this stuff was in the Hardwick Gazette, but who reads that? Right. So, so my request to you is, I think I'm going to go to the school board meeting tomorrow night and ask them again why they don't think that's necessary to let people know what they're going to be voting on. And if they say no, I'd like to know whether we could do that here. I mean, if we did, we got 380 do, do, households on our on our mailing list, so that's about $200 worth of postage. Yeah. So what what are you thinking of doing? Sending uh, out and mailing it out. Yeah, the articles of agreement. Yeah. yeah okay. Well, this warning, which basically has has what's on there. It's six pages, so three pages mm -hmm. double sided mm -hmm. could go for 55 cents. It would take some time, but the cost of the postage and the cost of the paper would be, for, you know, less than three hundred dollars. Okay. If, I wonder if the school board would be willing. If they aren't willing to do that, then probably it might be better that you did it just so it got done. But um, I wonder if they would be willing to have their, like, you know, at the end, any questions, contact so-and-so school board members, if people are kind of wondering if they care enough mm. to have questions, mm. um, if they would be willing to at least be, to be open to being contacted by someone. Um, one thing, yeah, one thing that Joanne said in one of her emails is that I could be telling people about this, but I, you know, it's not right for me to be lobbying and say, oh, this one's good, this one's bad, or this one means this and this one means something else. Yeah, you know, it's right. just not my job at all. Right. So... It would be interesting to see if you did get this out to the people in town, how many, if it increased the voters. Yeah, we'd never or know. Yeah. yeah. We would never know. Oh, you would Because, this is because they're, yeah. they're going to come, or, you know, yeah. I suppose some of them, we could ask them when they come in to vote. Did you? Right. <laughs> how did you hear about this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. An exit yeah. poll. An exit yeah. poll. <laughs> yeah. 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 So anyways, if the school, um, I don't think they will, because if they did it for us, they'd have to do it for Hardwick, and that would probably be like a thousand dollars instead of three thousand, right. three hundred dollars. Yeah. But this is something Laura and I could work on later this week if you agree to. To it, Mike. I have no objection to it. I mean, I think trying to is be as helpful as as it can be. Yeah, yeah. It's going to yeah. be confusing, anyways. But yeah. right. you know, there are people who care about this stuff and think about it. Mm -hmm. Few, yeah. Yeah. And this might make them think more about <laughs> right. it as to, okay, maybe yeah, exactly. we, we had 40 no. votes the last time? Yeah. 44, yeah. 44. On the $7 million budget. It'd be interesting yeah. to see if you did this and we got 80 or did we get yeah, 20? Be, <laughs> yeah, that would be interesting because yeah. people yeah. still might look at it and throw up their hands, but it seems only right that they have an opportunity. Yeah, they should right. know. Yeah, if, this, right. like, if that would help in the future, too. Right, mm -hmm. yeah. right, yeah, because, I mean, they voted. One of those meetings where we went to in Hardwick, 
Every, the majority of people wanted everything by Australian ballot. Mm -hmm. So if you have an Australian ballot, that means there's no opportunity to talk about things. So you right. need to be able to mm -hmm. read things beforehand, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Yeah. A lot of people won't, still won't pay attention. Right. Out of 380 people on the, or households on the mailing list, you know, mm -hmm. maybe 100 yeah. of them won't really read it. Yeah. And they'll say, oh my God. But, but the legislature yeah. obviously wanted the electorate to vote on this stuff, so. Right. Things like this. And, you know, if you feel like teasing the school board a little bit, you could ask them if they would be willing to have contact information, mm -hmm. some of them anyway, because mm -hmm. some people might have questions. Mm -hmm. You know, because, you, you know, somebody... Maybe. I haven't heard from Kim lately, but... Yeah. I mean, you could get that and read it and then still not really know what mm -hmm. it's really all about well, and, yeah, and, you might, and not, probably not very many people would call but mm -hmm. somebody might mm -hmm. be if there was mm -hmm. an opportunity. Yeah, you could ask. I go to the meeting tomorrow, I have to mention it. Mm -hmm. And Joanne did say that there's no, no law against the town doing it. Right. So that's nothing. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, whether you go to the meeting or not, you could let somebody from the school board know that Mm -hmm. The town is planning on yeah. doing this, okay. and, um, and, uh, and then see if somebody is willing to take phone calls. Mm -hmm. So the ballots are going to be this big? I guess yeah. they have to be so you can read them. Yeah. yeah. Really? They are? This is... Yeah. This is yeah. Yeah. They got 100 <laughs> copies of each. Wow. Yeah. 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 There's certain yeah. standards that have been... Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, this is the last time on the budget vote we had... No. The budget vote was eight and a half by eleven, but yeah. this vote before it was pulled also had two very large ballots. Mm -hmm. They all went into recycling. Yeah. I won't even need to bring my reading glasses. <laughs> <laughs> These are ones that I'll post. Yeah. Well, that that reminds me. Is it possible to to post the agenda in the little Glaston thing at the? Um, down by the parking area by the post office because mm -hmm. now since summer the the area where we usually post is pretty full of stuff mm -hmm. um, um, I don't know if it would be possible to do that yeah the thing is I only have one key right yeah so I could just could I get the key I could either get you the agenda mm -hmm. or I could <laughs> borrow the key and also, you have the right to take anything off that bulletin board that you want to, but it would be rude. I know, but I, <laughs> I always look, try to Other look, people put their stuff right over right, other I things. try to look for stuff that's outdated. Right, they, This yeah. time around, there were two 8 by and a half by 11 things that were the same thing. Somebody had put two of them up. <laughs> yeah. so that's really probably the ones that I put up about the mental health thing on Thursday night. Might have been. I put two because I couldn't, <laughs> didn't have any place else to put them. Oh, so we could talk about that too. Okay. Thursday night, uh, six o'clock. Mm -hmm. Washington, Washington County Mental Health is uh, coming to town to do a forum on people who want to discuss mental health and addiction issues and what services are available and maybe what services are needed. Mm -hmm. um, the guy who set this up is not going to be available, but they're sending the, the head of the agency, Mary Moulton is her name. Uh -huh, Lisa good. Flood, uh, who is from Woodbury and also works for Washington County Mental Health, will be mm -hmm. there. And, mm -hmm. and I think they have a couple other panelists. Mm -hmm. Thursday night this week okay. at the town hall. Uh -huh. So I'll be there to open it for them. Mm -hmm. We haven't, again, we haven't had much opportunity to advertise it because we don't. <laughs> I guess I haven't seen any posters. Yeah, right. No. Yeah. 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 You weren't advertising it on Maybe front porch forum? Or? There was Lisa, Lisa Flood wrote a nice thing on front porch forum and I asked her to send it to the Gazette as a letter to the editor yeah. or as a public service announcement. She said she are would we do that. Are we using the website at all? I mean, not that hundreds of people go to it. But right. Yeah. I mean, that and is another. Know, yeah. The thing, is, well, all we got from them was a was the a poster, poster and yeah. I don't know how those yeah, how those can be put on there. Or you could scan it. Or a problem yeah. Yeah. Scan it. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Uh, oh, I'm going to, 
I think I'll send an email to Paul, maybe make sure that his people know about it. Right, if I got it for all that they're dealing with. And the with. Sandy Reeks to make sure that their people know about mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rescue Squad people. Do you think the, um, is it Carol Plant, the, whatever that program is, that Hardwick that I'm she's... I'm not sure what she does. Yeah. One of those. It's like me restorative? Mediation, yeah, no. restorative no. mediation no. thing. I guess that really wouldn't be. To the store. Lauren called last week, she, or emailed, she said she had been in southern Vermont with somebody from the FEMA office mm -hmm. and um, he asked if they could take a look at the Woodbury storage, you know, well, you know, that's like two hours away plus, at least mm -hmm. two hours away. Mm -hmm. So he asked if there could be, she asked, he asked her if she could go up with her smartphone and then she asked me if I had a smartphone and I said, well, I do have a smartphone but I can't send anything because it's all jammed up with stuff that I haven't downloaded. <laughs> but I do have a new tablet. So uh -huh. I took some nice videos, six different videos on my tablet of the water coming down from the culvert and then going into this, uh, under the store and then where it comes out and things mm -hmm. like that. And then Laura helped me download those from my tablet to my computer mm -hmm. and then put them in the Dropbox and share the Dropbox with Lauren. So that worked. Mm -hmm. Thank uh -huh. you, Laura. Yes. Our text, text, text expert. Yeah, our expert. Tech, tech, tech expert. <laughs> yeah. But I didn't hear back and I haven't heard anything else mm -hmm. about uh, update. Oh, but I would like to mention again, filling those holes at some point before we get Started, even if you don't do it for safety reasons, when the contractor shows up, which could be any day within the next three months, mm -hmm. <laughs> he shouldn't have to deal with big holes in them. That takes some big <coughs> material. That takes yeah. some big rocks to Well, you could get some, one, some of that one inch stuff that they build the other hole with. You know what we could do? I just, um, I don't know how the road crew could get there, but. Yeah, with Valley Lake Road, they've got to clean out that ditch. It's full of stone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and rose those are some bigger rocks. Those yeah. are six inch minus, mm -hmm. five inch minus. Yeah, about right next to that box culvert where it's fine. There's that dying. hole, yeah. plus there's another one over by the gas pumps. Mm -hmm. yeah. And maybe, you know, they could just get a. They'd, they'd have to haul the excavator over there. Yeah. Kind of pan right. above. Yeah. 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 Fill up a truck and bring it over, but maybe there's. If yeah, they could just dump the stone over there or something, or yeah, around. Yeah, I mean, not not sift it or anything, just take it out of the ditch. And mm -hmm. Yeah, drop it, it down there. Yeah, yeah that's drop it with my tractor. Yeah, yeah. move it around. Mm -hmm. it into the... That reminds me, I did look at the holes on the other side of the road by oh. the, the property across the road. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, and um, the thing that concerns me, and I, I don't know, I don't think it's changed any, but that retaining wall, right where those holes are, is yeah. really It looks kind of yeah. sketchy. When I was behind Chris's house, standing on that retaining wall, trying to take those videos out, those are kind of... Uh -huh. I cement, mean, they didn't feel unsafe or anything, but they're certainly leaning. The cement blocks? Or yeah. 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 yeah, a lot of work could be done up through there. Yeah. But mm -hmm. we get... We'll get there. So that may be something that I don't know if when we have to do the stream restoration work, uh, maybe the crew yeah, could help. Yeah. And I don't know if that. So my, my question I had was: is that is that town? Is it? It's. I think it's. It could be in the state right away, or you know that's probably private that property. Yeah. yeah. So who's mm. responsible for that retaining wall? The granite yeah. block mm. all the way down, right? You know, right tight yeah. to the house. Is that a property owner or? Yeah, sorry to say there. Yeah, yeah. really. Hmm. But it is, I mean, it's probably been leaning like that for many years, but... Uh, it could be, I just yeah. never noticed it. <laughs> yeah, I never know. I never, yeah, yeah I never noticed yeah. it, but I was looking at the holes. Mm. Um, it's like one of those things that once the store is finally down and gone, mm -hmm. you know, we'll end up having to go in and restore the walls, I guess, yeah, at that yeah. point. Yeah, so if we could restore... On our, on, yeah, on the, so west, maybe, the east side. Yeah, so on the other side of the Route 14, if 
maybe that could be done at the same time if there's a crew there doing it. Yeah, I wonder work. if that's, is that state? Because the state must have built those. Yeah, that's what we're just wondering. I don't yeah. know where the right uh, way is for know. the state. But, I mean, the granite wall continues all the way down oh, yeah, to yeah. The, where the, the brook bends. Um, and I know when Sean and, and Jaron looked at that, when um, they were sort of saying, oh, it's too bad that, because that's another restriction on the stream, mm -hmm. though, those yeah. two retaining walls there. Um, so I know, I know in part of their color design, when and if they ever do that, um, they, would, they would be constrained by those two. And it's not that we're going to take them out. No, we really can't take them out. Um, we'd have to remove that house, really. To come. Yeah, I suppose if they really wanted to get creative, they could take the whole wall out and just widen it. But right. That'd be yeah. quite a project. That'd be quite a project. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, really. Yeah. So, but we won't worry about that right now. Yeah. Good. Just make it taller. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. We'll go up with it. So back to the back to this question. Right. Did you uh, did you approve that? We Sound didn't like officially, did. but we. Could you say we, something we, for Laura? We can, I guess. Yeah. yeah no, I I would I would. Um, I'll make a motion that we approve um, the town clerk and assistant town clerk sending out a notice of the June 25th the Articles of Agreement um, article or voting articles um, for town residents' information. Thank you. I'll second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Okay, so we did it officially. Okay, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I hate to go wasting three reams of paper on without an official okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. This is kind of important, though. It's right. one of those things that you know, we'll have to do it every time, but right now, just getting started. You know, it seems like a bad way to start things People have such a little bit of interest in this. Exactly. They yeah. need that. For the amount of money. Yeah. That's what right. worries me, you know, this kind of mandated merger. You know, mm. No one really cares. Nobody has fought it. Yeah. Yeah, either they're well, indifferent yeah, about it or... we did. I mean, everybody who showed up at all those meetings and when those of us who lobbied the legislature for an extension... Right. We you know, they didn't, as it turned out, we didn't really need an extension. And I think some of the people who wanted an extension really wanted an opportunity to see if there was some other way to do it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, and I know, but, you, you know, know, part of it was, that it, like, from Patrick's point of view, an extension would have given the town's time to really, you know, so things wouldn't have been so rushed. Right. You know, just, you know, the hurry right. up, hurry yeah. up. But it did work, you know. It, it seems to, out. yeah. And these are important because that's basically how the new union district is going to function for the yeah. next few right. years. Mm -hmm. So you would think. People should at least know what yeah. the legis what our legislature has thrust yeah. upon us. You know, and if there are <laughs> changes in there that affect the, the leasing of the school right. to the new union exactly. district, so yeah. that's different from the state default mm -hmm. articles. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So those are important to us. Yeah, um, and it is good that you know from from when this all started to now, there have been concessions because you remember right. at the beginning they said, "Oh no, we can't do a lease." Right. Now, but then it didn't turn out. Do you know way. if with these articles, have they resolved? the um, board and what the board will be going they forward. They have. That's why they uh -huh. what, what did they come up that's with? That's why they pulled it they pulled the first one because they decided right. not to uh, so just so yeah. the, they're they're going with uh, five two two one. So five, five for Hardwick, Hardwick two, two for Greensboro, two, two for Woodbury and one one for Standard. Okay, so there's a an even that's and in the original five. default articles it was four for Hardwick, one for each of the other towns. So, you know, basically the smaller towns would be outgunned, mm -hmm. you know, outvoted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Theoretically, you know, someone from Hardwick could go differently, but, but it would, yeah. you know, would have been a block that would have meant that there wouldn't be much mm -hmm. that the other towns could do if, if Hardwick, you know, chose people. So, good. So, yeah, but that's that's another good. article that has to get voted on. Right. Um, so and if it doesn't get approved, then it goes back to the default. Which article. is two 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 two, which oh, Hardwick well. doesn't like, of course, because Hardwick only having two and everybody else having two. Yeah. That's sort of that would only be for two. For, that would only be for two years. That's for the first two years, yeah. anyways. But that, but if yeah. we couldn't come up with another one, then they'd have to try something else, or else yeah. stay with the two 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 two, and that's not good. Yeah. It's so. not really fair either. Right. Is Chris coming? No. Oh, okay. 
No. Did you get my email? We did, and, and both so, Brian yeah. and I kind of agree. Yeah. Um, no so, yeah, yes. so we'll, we'll just wait. So we'll only yes. Talk about it. next week. <laughs> so, oh, Diana, yeah. did you hear back from Kim Silk about the no, beauty? no, the building? So no, I didn't. My 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 thinking is is that we have if we we should have some kind of info from Kim before we agree to this. Right. So we'll just table it. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. There's nothing you can do except unless he goes there and says. It's dangerous. Yeah. So yeah. Did we have? Did you have the? No, no, uh, not, not. I'm talking about the Humane Society. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, I didn't hear back from him on that okay. either. That was my my thinking was that if we. It's a pretty standard contract. I the know same it's standard, one, yeah. but um, he like should at least look at it. Get his okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So make sure he's going to continue for us. <laughs> right. We reappointed sure him, well. so he, we he said he was okay with that. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. He already agreed to that. So yeah. just to explain what I was just talking to Diane about, the next thing on our agenda is a contract with the Central Vermont Humane Society. Um, and our um, animal control officer, Kim Silk, we haven't heard back from him uh, on any thoughts that he has with the contract. So um, I'd like to have his input before the select board um, agrees to to the contract and signs it. So, um, okay. this, so we've got time. We've got time. Okay. So we'll the we're contract gonna... period is actually calendar so, year 2019, so they're obviously not in that much of a hurry. Yeah. <laughs> time. Yeah. So we'll table that for the next meeting and, and okay. then hopefully we'll hear back from him. Yeah, you may want to drop him another line. He was in the other day talking about something, but I don't know if, yeah. if he understood that yeah. or not, yeah. that we'd like him to come in and talk to us. Yeah, I, you know, I, I, for me, if he had, because he, I know Diana sent it to him and she, you know, asked him for his input, and so she hasn't heard. If she had, then, then we would have, we would have had his input, and, and it, yeah, I mentioned the meeting, but it was pretty late I th when I first contacted him about yeah. it, um, and I know he's a lot busier than, yeah, than he used he's okay to be. With it. Yeah, so. Okay. So we'll um, have that on the agenda for our next meeting. Um, I haven't heard anything back from him about the dog list either. Okay, yeah. So that may be something to mention if he's here. Yeah. So with that, um, that's the end of our agenda. Holy cow, look at yeah. that. Yeah. Um, well, Paul here, we're done early. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'll make a motion that we adjourn. But well, I'll suck it up. All right. All in favor? Aye. All right. All right. We're done.